Today I'm doing my July favorites for 2013. These are my favorite products from July. So first of all, I have um, a nail polish and it's in the color 24-7 and it's by Sinful Colors. It's probably the most neon hot pink that I own and I think it's really pretty. It's really bright. Um, I've got, yeah, I have Pool Party by China Glaze. And here they are side by side. I think that 24-7 is a little more of a, if it's possible to say a pastel hot pink. And this one's more of a true neon hot pink. So I've really liked 24-7 this month. My next favorite from July is the Hourglass Number no. 28 Primer Serum Base. Um, it's a little sample size. I got it in a pack with the other Hourglass. Um mineral veil primer so these two came together in a little set at sephora and i've really liked this one in particular it's very moisturizing on your face so i like to put this on and it will sink into my skin it takes a few minutes so um i'll usually put this on and then i'll go do something else and then i'll come back and do the rest of my makeup but this makes my face look so smooth and poreless and it just reacts really well to my skin. My, my skin kind of drinks it up because it is very moisturizing. That's a great base. I'm going to probably have to buy the full size when I'm done with this one. My next favorite for July is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Sin. And it's the regular primer potion, but it's in the champagne color. So it's, um, it's more of a goldish, taupey champagne, but it's very shimmery. And I actually was reading one of my um, favorite blogs to read about beauty products. Um, and she did a comparison on all four of the different Urban Decay primers. And this one outperformed the rest of them. And I had this one and so I started using it again. And I really like it. It works really well. So I've been using it a lot lately. And the next product that I have for July is a CoverGirl eyeshadow. And it does not have a name on it. I don't know if I took it off with the packaging or what, but um, it's just a very pretty taupe, bronzy, shimmery colored eyeshadow. And it's not very pigmented, but it works really well in the crease whenever you're trying to go for a very natural, everyday look that's not too fussy. You don't really have to blend it out very much because it is so sheer, but it does add a little bit of depth in the crease when you're going for something natural. So I've really been liking this this month. The next product that I've been really liking for July has been the MAC Beauty Powder in Oh So Fair. And this was from the Disney Venomous Villains collection that came out in 2010, I believe. And so this obviously is not for sale anymore, but you probably could find it at a CCO if you really wanted to try to find it, but um, this is the color, and it's a really pretty red color. It's like a light red pink color. Um, it's not very pigmented, but it's a very good shade for my skin tone because I am so fair. I have it on today. I'm not sure if you can tell with the lighting that I have, but I really have been liking this this month in particular because it really gives me a nice glow because I am so fair and it just works really well for me. So I've been really liking that one. And my next favorite for July has been the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. And this is the brightening one, so it's the pinkish shade brightener. Yeah, it's the brightener. Um, I put this underneath my eyes, kind of in a triangle shape around here, and it really brightens the area. I don't look so tired, and I notice that throughout the day, as the day goes on, normally I'm feeling like my eyes develop dark circles, so I don't feel like I wake up with them as much as I find that they appear throughout the day. So whenever I have this on, it really does brighten the area for all day, especially when you set it with a powder. My next favorite is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the color Nude, and it came in a Sephora 500 Point Perk set, and this is just um, the regular tinted moisturizer. It has SPF 20 in it, and I really love the Silk Cream Foundation. That's my favorite foundation of all time. I've never tried the tinted moisturizer, but I've heard really good things about it, so whenever I got the set, 
I thought this is a great time to try it out to see if I really like it, and I do. My skin has been behaving for me the last few months, so I haven't had a whole lot of blemishes or breakouts. So I don't need a whole lot of coverage at this point, especially in the summertime. I don't really want to use a heavy foundation. So this has been something that I've been wearing daily this month, and I really like it. And my last favorite for the month is the Laura Mercier Almond Coconut Milk Hand Cream. Now, they have a body, um, like a body set. They have different scents, but they have like the body cream, they have like a bubble bath and a shower gel and a scrub and all kinds of different things and they have the hand cream. All of it is pretty pricey so I haven't had the chance to really try anything else from that line but the hand cream was $15 and I just love the scent so much that I had to purchase this um, and I've really been loving it. I keep it at my vanity and I will usually put some of this on after I've done my makeup and I've you know, in the morning just to put something on my hands to um, make sure that they don't dry out after I wash my hands because sometimes I get makeup on my hands and I like to kind of wipe them off and wash them off so having a good hand cream after that um, really helps keep them from drying out and the scent is amazing. I wish I could get everything in the scent that she has but I'm not that rich so. So that's everything for my July favorites this year. I thank you for watching and please comment and subscribe and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys later.